Well, hasn't it been a while? <clears throat> um, how are we guys? Sorry for the very, very long delay on a video. Um, I've been accumulating a lot of parts and <clears throat> just having motivation really. So I will show you the new shed tight space that the Pajero lives in now um, and I will show you the shed um, today is just basically a clean up and then show you all the parts that I've accumulated to get this finished um, I'm hoping to have it finished and engineered and on the road for Sydney 4x4 show in September um, I would love to reveal it there so time's crunch it's still a fair distance away but we're gonna make it happen so i'll show you around She's pretty tight. Um, got it real close this side because so I can move, really. Um, I also have to work on this door. Um, I closed it for the first time and it decided to unclip the lock mechanism. So I have to take the door card back off and redo all that which isn't going to be fun if anyone does the Pajero door cards it's a struggle not to break the clips <clears throat> but anyway I will show you around so yeah I had to take the light out which is why I had to buy a, a glow basically all my stuff down here and then this monstrosity so it's literally all I have room. It's probably 800 to a meter without the bull bar, bull bar on. Um, but yeah, so it's semi-organized-ish. Um, I've got a new rack system that's perfect for this size here so I can clean everything up. So today is just organizing all that. And then I'm going to get stuck into working on the car. Um, show you all the parts that I've got. And go from there. So, I've finally finished um, doing all the shed. Um, I could sweep it out, but it's just going to get dirtier. Um, so I'll show you the shed and then I will take you inside to show you all the new parts. So that's the rack system I was telling you all about. So now all my spare parts and everything that needs to go into the car is there. Um, bits and pieces. The old battery is there now. Oh, I can actually walk. So that's all there. Um, put the new battery in. So that's just sitting there ready to go got some things to work around in here um, which I'll show you I'm also waiting for a few more parts but it's a later on episode I will be running uh, my episodes more how do you say professional like I know it's a bit being a bit everywhere um, but I've actually made plans on what videos I'm going to be doing um, and water in those videos, so hopefully it's a little bit better production style um, And it helps a lot of people Not only that, but also my engineer um, Just so that it's not everywhere and he can understand what I'm doing So I will take you inside now and show all the goodies 
All right, so, yeah, I've been absolutely working my butt off to acquire all this. Um, I've even bought myself a little cord lock stand in a proper cord lock case so I can actually do this properly. Um, but let's get started. So, <clears throat> obviously you guys know that I had a, an issue with uh, my wiring for the EGTs, they weren't long enough, so I bought myself another extension so I can finally finish the gauges. I also got myself a T piece for the water temp sensor. Um, basically, I found where the standard one is on the thermostat, so I'm going to replace it with that. Put the standard one in and T piece off that for the aftermarket gauge that I've got. Um, Continuing on with the electrical, I've got myself for that case on top of the car a beautiful, beautiful bit of equipment. A uh, Android screen, so a little nine inch screen that I'm going to be putting in there. Um, there's a lot of wiring to do involved in that, so there's that. <clears throat> Um, and then I got myself a set of four inch kickers to go in the dash as well. <coughs> um, so that all being wiring will be one episode, as I said, I'm going to break this up professionally. Um, so it'll be wiring, there'll be painting, brake, suspension, tray completion. So I've got a fair bit to go on. And then, so <clears throat> paint wise, I've got myself what everyone's been using. I've been trying to use the zinc one. I don't know why I'm not using Gal, so I should be using this. I finally got myself three cans, which actually was pretty cheap uh, where I got it. And that's to complete the tray, so I can actually weld everything in. I've been tossing up two designs on how to finish it just with the sheet metal whether i go alloy uh, checkered plate black because i've got a little bit of a spin on color possibly um and then the other idea was just going the normal um steel sheet and then just welding that in from the bottom onto the painting the car and that I got myself a shoots gun because of the Predator. I was going to thin the paint down and then do it that way, but it's just easier doing it this way. It's quicker. Don't have to worry about thinning stuff down. Um, and I got myself a promoter. So all those little nooks and crannies um, anywhere in the car, bull bar, the grill, the flares, all that sort of stuff. Even on the tray, um, places where you won't get a lot of uh, distance and control on the spray, this will allow uh, you to be able to um, adhere basically to the area a lot better with the paint. And then the paint, I just went like the last lot I got, I just got the uh, Predator Black. Um, and a white. So yeah, <clears throat> that's some of what I have. Um, so I'll make all this nice again and show the, the next lot. All right, here we have a very, very nice bit of kit. Thanks to VMAX uh, down in Melbourne. Um, it's actually, I was very hesitant on buying these. After a few recommendations, I actually pulled the pin, bought them, and oh my God. Um, so I bought the, uh, it's more of like a, a race style. It's not slotted, it's, they're known as J-hooks. Um, they're good in racing application to uh, reduce heat and disperse the heat out of when you're braking, which is actually really good for when you're full driving. Um, 
So I went with this style. Um, I'll show you the fronts. They are kangaroo port in the middle. Very beautiful set of kit. It's going to be matched with the front uh, brake pads from Bendix. Next is the rear. Now this is huge and freaking heavy. Yes. So, yes. Also, what I've noticed with these uh, J tops, the version I have, they are actually um, NL brakes um, used in the later model. <laughs> bit of kit <clears throat> put these back away and move on to one last thing all right lastly four-wheel drive industries down in Victoria um, made an absolute beauty of my god I'd have to say this is the best I've ever seen the workmanship powder coat like you can't even see the welds unless you see the inside but like you can't you can't even see that that's welded like unbelievable so it's a three quarter because my uh being short wheel base the wheel sits here that would be if it was a full length it'd be a lot um closer to the back wall then i'd have to cut it whereas these guys just make one anyway so as i said um i will be doing this in stages um putting this out there now um and then i'll be working on completing the tray uh very shortly i'd say I get started after this video goes up um, and I'm actually looking forward to doing all this. I still have to order the and decide what material I will be using to finish the tray off with, uh, as in the bed itself. But until then, I've got bits and pieces to do. Um, I've got to figure out how this can mount to the tray uh, by adding, obviously adding in a few brackets and probably a bit more um, framework. I will be doing rib nuts into the frame itself so then this can be mounted. Um, I've got a fair few ideas on how to either offset or keep it flush but until then stay tuned cheers don't forget to like comment and subscribe you